Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. It's Marilyn Harris from uh, Hard at Work, and welcome to my podcast about how to create an impactful legacy. And uh, today I have um, on the call on my show today is Wendy Galu Gahula, Gail like a fish, hula like a, like you a know, dance. Yes. A fish. <laughs> So anyway, welcome Wendy to the show and uh, tell us, you know, like I'm going to let you introduce yourself. So tell us how you got started doing what you're doing and what's, how's all been happening with that? Sure. Thank you, Marilyn, for having me, first of all. Oh, you're welcome. Well, my name is Wendy Gilhula. <laughs> I don't like a fish, who like the dance. And I write kids books and I promote kindness. I didn't start out like that. I started out as a dance choreographer and an instructor for decades. Mm -hmm. And then I've been a math tutor and a mentor for kids for a very long time. And one day, one of my students, Adam, asked me, what do you do all day when you're not doing? And in my head, I said, I write books that kids are never going to read. Mm. And I didn't like the inner dialogue. Yeah. It bothered me for a few days. So I got out that manuscript that I'd had hidden away mm -hmm. since before I had started teaching dance because yeah. it got rejected. Mm -hmm. And I thought that I thought if I can possibly get my my book, just maybe one book published, which right. now it's five books, but yeah. if I could just do it, that that would be like the end of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. But what happened, Marilyn? is that I have a book about kindness and what happened was, and I didn't expect this at all and I didn't plan for it. <laughs> that book springboard onto so many other possibilities, mm -hmm. so many more chances to talk about kindness, to share with kids about kindness. I have a, almost 300,000 Skype miles where okay. I've been in class in virtually in classrooms talking about kindness and how we can be kind at school, our home, and our planet. Mm -hmm. And it is, is far beyond anything that I had <laughs> ever imagined. And I'm so thankful to Adam that he asked me, what do I do all day? <laughs> <laughs> As you are talking, I'm going, oh, I have a, a friend that uh, has a kindness book for kids too. You guys should partner up. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. That, that would be yeah. amazing. That would be yeah. amazing. Yeah. She's in the kindness movement with along with me as well so anyway it's really cool gal so um anyway so that's pretty awesome so what have you been doing with the your book how do you uh and then you have an app so tell us more about your app well sure it just so happened that one time i was reading virtually online i was getting ready to read actually and i don't think the first graders realized that i was live i guess i was holding still and they thought maybe i was a video yeah. yeah, I could see all the kids in the classroom. It was a first grade classroom. And one boy, I could read what his t-shirt said. And he was being not very nice. I can't say he was bullying, but yeah. he was being unkind to the boy next to him. So yeah. I said, hey, you on the second row. And everybody like looked at me like, <laughs> like looked up at the board. And I said, what did you in the blue shirt? What does your shirt say? And he looks down at his shirt and he goes, oh, my shirt says kindness is cool. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's ironic. You're picking yeah. on the kid next, next to you with the, with the cool, you know, a kindness is cool shirt. Yeah. And I thought, it just got me thinking about, you know, uh, you know, kindness has been on a wave lately. It's been on an upswing, right? Yeah. And a lot of cute t-shirts, a lot of cute um, items that you can purchase. But mm -hmm. then it started me thinking about myself. How many times do I think I'm kind, but maybe I'm neutral, mm -hmm. maybe not unkind? Yeah. And I wonder if there's a way to count that. Mm. So I went to sleep and I literally woke up the next day and I remember, I remember this thinking, I'm going to create an app about kindness and I'm going to have, I'm going to see if kids can track their kindness. And I remember looking down at the floor and my feet hit the floor and I, I just <laughs> I don't know how to create. I mean, I've created all kinds of things. I have a patent, but it wasn't a techno in technology. Yeah. And I thought, well, I'll just find the people that can help me and to mm. put my, to put my IP together. And so I have the Pika Bunny Kindness Tracker and it's free and it's available for those of you who have iPhones or tablets, um, iP iPads or Android tablets. Or okay. 
and it's the Pika, P-I-K-A, Bunny Kindness Tracker. And I know that kids aren't in school right yeah. now when this is being recorded, yeah. but um, you can still think of a, about it as um, in their world. Like right. you can wave to people, that's on there. You yeah. can smile, that's, you know, that's, that's all good. You can write a letter to somebody mm -hmm. and you can give more hugs to your family. Mm -hmm. And then there's kindness to your planet. So every time they recycle, or maybe they could plant seeds. And when they plant seeds in their garden, they can share the fruits or vegetables with their neighbors, maybe, you know, leave it on the yeah. porch, or whatever, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, just different ways that I hadn't thought of that I can be kind. It even stretched my boundaries, mm -hmm. thinking of the list mm -hmm. on different ways that I can, I was maybe being neutral. I wasn't being unkind, but I yeah. wasn't being as kind as I could. Right, right. Yeah. I like when you're saying plant seeds in the garden. I went, oh, today's Earth Day. It's a perfect day that we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So be kind to the earth. So whatever that looks like for you today, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. I, I yeah. fed the birds. I fed the birds today. So <laughs> you know, I'll be seed and they were very happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so cool, so cool. Yeah, you, sometimes, you know, I always say three acts of kindness a day and then we'll have world kindness. That's my, my dream, big dream. So the idea with your app, we can actually do that app and just say today, you know, whatever. But anyway, it's so very cool. So um, can you share some great stories or exciting stories you've had uh, doing this, this thing you decided to do? That the app or, the or app whatever, the or whatever. Well, whatever else you've dreamt what, up. <laughs> what happened? With it? Well, well, I'll go on with the story with the with the app and yeah. the purpose of the app. It has Pika Bunny on it. Pika Bunny is my my main character, but it's Pika stands for Practice Intentional Kindness. Mm, okay. Um, always. And I, I I didn't do it for a marketing thing. I did it for, if, you know, if I could just help one person maybe it's myself Yeah. to do one more act of kindness a day. Did you know that if you start on day one and you do one act of kindness and you double your acts of kindness for 10 days, do you know how many acts of kindness you will have within 10 days? A thousand and twenty four acts of kindness. <laughs> and you just have to double for 10 days. Yeah. And it could be the smallest thing. It can be liking somebody's post. It can be commenting something positive. And there's got yeah. two of them already. You already have yeah. two acts of kindness already. So the, the, probably the last two days of the 10 days, you'd be really busy doing your kindness, but you, it would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so what I, have, I, I put on LinkedIn, and if anybody um, would like to connect with me on LinkedIn, I would love that. Yeah. I put the Pika Bunny kindness tracker and then I got started getting adults saying, well, you know, my kids are grown, but you know what? I'm, I'm putting in workplace for school. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you are? And yeah. They, and they said, yeah. And I'm on level, um, my friend Emily says, I'm on level 14. I was like, well, it takes a lot to get on level 14. Let me yeah. tell you. And it's been fun. And she said, I, I wish there was one for like uh, um, adults in the workplace. So yeah. I did, I do have one now for workplace. Mm -hmm. Although a lot of us aren't at the workplace, yeah. but when we go back, it has things like simple things like hold the elevator or, you know, do your own dishes. Or yeah. Scoot in your chair. Just things that you, those are, that's nice to the person that's coming in behind you. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's not all about us. So yeah. 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 It's very cool. Yeah. I have um, a workplace diary, but I need to find somebody that could republish it for me. But anyway, it's kind of cool. Yeah. So tell me, um, so who's the best person that you can reach out to you that helps you to expand your, your app or what you're trying to do? Well, if, if there's a company that wants to promote kindness and reward their employees with all the acts of kindness mm -hmm. or maybe just to find out some markers about how how kind are our employees where right. how kind is our company where can we grow in kindness they can contact me uh, on LinkedIn very mm -hmm. easily look at my my profile and such and what I can do is I already have I already have the app I already have the technology so if, right um, what I can do is just put put on your person the 
your personal product logos and your list that you want and the ways that you want your employees rewarded. Right. So you can get in touch with me if it's like then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So, um, so what else can you tell us about your app? Can you share some stories that people have shared with you um, about using your app or? Oh, I get, I get the cutest stories. Um, Kristen Sherry is, um, I don't know if you know her, but she mm. writes UMAP and her daughter just loves the app. And, you know, just hearing, you know, you don't, it's one of those things where I i don't really know. I don't keep data as far as, you know, child, child X yeah. today. I don't I don't track that data on children, so right. I don't. I don't really know, but it's yeah. really nice to get feedback. Where it's, my daughter really looks forward to coming home, or it was coming home from school, or my daughter yeah. really looks forward to that time where we we mark all the acts of kindness. And some of the parents were like, "Why is why is there not a reward?" Like I don't understand why there's not a reward on the kids app. Be there's no reward because I was thinking that being a kind person was its own reward. And that's yep. feeling that you get, you know, when, when your heart grows a little, a little yep. and you know you did the right thing. Yeah. So if a parent wants to have rewards, they can make their own rewards. They can yep. say, okay, if you have 20 Pika points in, at home today, we'll read a special book or we'll download a book or we'll, you know, we'll um, have ice cream sundae or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the little notes that I get, the little emails and, the little text I get that says, you know, my, my, my kid really appreciates this. And, you know, kids are already born with that innate sense to be kind. You're right. But it, I feel like it grows out of them. I feel like the world kind of mm -hmm. not beats it out of them, but yeah. suppresses it. Yeah. And I'm hoping that the app will just um, sharpen those skills and reward those skills where those kids, less kids or less of it will the kindness will die. Yeah. Yeah. Die down within them. That's what I'm hoping. I'm, I'm hoping to keep the fire of kindness lit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that you will and will continue to do so. Yeah. So um, any tips you want to share with us about things that people, and you shared a lot with us already, but any tips or something you want to share about how you, how else they can use the app or, you know, your um, books or whatever. That's fine. You can challenge each other with the app. Uh, I write the three books I have in the Pika Bunny series are Pika Bunny and the Thunderstorm. And that's where Pika Bunny has an approaching thunderstorm coming and he's trying to decide about each aspect of the of thunderstorm and whether mm -hmm. or not to be afraid. Mm -hmm. That's very popular to read in hospitals because children in children's hospitals have their own storm. And right. now we have our own storm. <laughs> <laughs> no, this yeah. is like oh, I can't believe this book is so kind of relevant right now. Yeah. So each of you know each element of what we're having to deal with right now, yeah. we have to decide. We have to make decisions. Constant, you know. Yeah. Constant decisions. Is this going to break me, or is this going to help me grow? Right. How can I be kind in this situation? Yes, we're supposed to be um, stay at home. We're supposed, but you know what I do um, in our neighborhood. One of my best friends lives in our neighborhood, and we still want to have coffee together. So we have we call street coffee. Yeah. So one of us is at the street, not quite like in the yeah. driveway. One of us distance. is on the porch. Yeah, we plenty of distance, but we can still see each other, have a coffee, check on each other. Yeah. My neighborhood is. We have a wonderful neighborhood here it's not big houses it's you know me medium-sized houses and now we really know each other we really know our neighbors names more than right. we did before right so i feel like a lot uh, you know there can be if you look at it the right way there can be a lot of good and a lot of kindness that's coming out of what's going on in the world right now right. i just hope it's not a fad and it, it keeps going and it might right. be long enough to practice it don't you think Mary Lynn mm -hmm. that you know, it's becoming like you know that's I like checking on my neighbor or yeah. I didn't know she you know we have a lot of common and yeah things like that yeah yeah and you know I think I've heard of stories of people leaving flowers on the doorsteps of people or cards or I've heard 
you know, um, there's that gal that does the rocks, you know, paints the rocks yeah. and, yes. you know, leaving kindness rocks, rocks. Kindness yes. rocks and leaving <laughs> one at your neighbor or whatever, you know, yeah. or leaving a note somewhere just to, to let them know they're appreciated. I think that's so important. And uh, whether you're doing it with your kids or whether you're doing it, but I just, like you were saying, your answer for the parent that wants, well, where's the reward? The reward is your you know, ah, yay, that's your reward, you know, feeling good, feeling good about what you just did for somebody else. Exactly. It's like, you know, Starbucks, you know, this before the shutdown is, there's a happy hour. And I have a friend that we always used to do the happy hour together and she couldn't make it one day. And I'm like, well, I'm going. So I just said, oh, I'll pay for her coffee because I mean, it's two for one, right? And uh, she's, are you sure? And I says, well, I don't want two of my coffee, so you might as well have one. So have what you want, you know. And it was really a nice little high. You could, I could feel that. I felt good about doing that. And um, so that's really simple. And that's your reward, just to feel good. That story reminds me of something that happened to me last month. I did have to travel in March because my son did have to move out of his dorm very yeah. quickly. But I remember being at the airport and it was at the start when everything was changing, like literally every two hours. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we weren't quite used to that yet. And yep. I, was, I was getting a little flustered. I'm a very flexible person, but I, by the time I got back to the airport, 48 hours after I'd left, moved my son and kind of came back, Yeah, I was supposed to have pre-check and then they were saying, you have to take off your shoes. And I was getting kind of like, what do you mean? I, I like, I was so tired of that. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And my son's like, mom, just take your shoes off. I was like, okay, but I was taking my shoes off. I said, I don't understand. This. And ma'am, please just take your shoes off. I like, I am take my shoes off. I did whatever. Yeah. So then I went to Dunkin' Donuts after to get a coffee and who's standing behind me, but this, the guy that was kept saying, ma'am, please take your shoes off. <laughs> so <laughs> I paid for my coffee and I waited on the side, I waited on the side and I waited him for him to place his whole order. And then I just came in and said, I'm going to pay for your coffee. I'm so sorry that I was confused. I, I probably came off as mean. I'm not mean. I'm, I was just not understanding <laughs> and I want to pay for your order. And he, he was like, what? And the guy behind the Dunkin' Donuts looked at me like he had never heard of that before he yeah goes, you want to do that and I was like uh, yeah I owe this guy because I did you know I wasn't following direction like I should have and they I walked away and they were both talking about it yeah for as long as I was like walked away yeah and that shouldn't be a thing it shouldn't be so shocking that yeah. somebody buys you a copy you know, place pays for your little order it wasn't right. even the order yeah yeah yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's amazing. And I really hope that, you know, because we're all in lockdown, uh, that we are, are sheltered, whatever you want to use, um, that we all reach out somehow to everybody and uh, just really share ourselves and share a little kindness, empathy, a little bit of compassion will really go a long way around. And it doesn't even have to mean that if you spend money, you know, maybe you can help somebody like like LinkedIn right now it seems to be famous like help people get a job or help them do that yeah. you know so yeah, it's, it's not really so much great. that you're spending money it's that you're taking the action of helping somebody right. else right right because right. you don't have to spend money to help yeah. somebody I didn't mean that I mean no I know I know what you meant okay. but I'm just saying that you know some people might listen to this oh well I don't I don't have money to buy somebody's coffee no I said no but you know you can do something to help somebody else you know, whether it's open the door for somebody or help them with their packages or, you know, whatever. There's always something that you can do, right? Yeah. Do you know where I, I just realized I had put on the workplace app? It just came out March 11th. Yeah. This March 11th. Yeah. And one of the kind things you can do in the workplace is check on a sick coworker. Right. And, you know, that wasn't planned before. I mean, I planned this way before this happened. Right. So just checking on somebody. Hey, right. how are you? I haven't heard from you. How are you doing? Yeah. You no. Know, yeah. That means a lot. Like, wow. You know, when somebody, somebody, when that LinkedIn kind of started that, and I was like, well, somebody's checking in on me. Like, I'm fine with that. I like this. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to try to check in on five people every day. Yeah. Yeah. Because I usually do that too. And only I do it like, two or three months at a time, you know, but, you know, I just said, yeah, I just got to keep doing that. 
And it was kind of funny because I was thinking about doing it, but I hadn't done it yet. And somebody, one of my friends called me, Marianne, I haven't heard from you in a while. You're always calling and doing check-ins. I went like, oh yeah, no, I've been, just been busy. Well, I'm calling to see how you're doing. And I'm like, wow, was that ever sweet. So I was actually able to receive it rather than me just giving it, right? So yeah, when you receive it, you're like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> So it was really good. It's a very nice feeling. And I just thought, oh, thank you so much for checking in on me. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, so we've got to stay in touch more often. I went, yeah, okay, great, you know. So anyway, so that was, um, that was like you were saying, so cool. And um, that was sort of my nudge. Okay, get going, married in. You know, you know, I, I enjoy doing that. So just do it. So yeah, yeah, so cool. Well, thank you, Wendy. I'm, I'm uh, so excited to do this call with you. and. And uh, we're kind of very like-minded in that way. So anyway. We'll Thank you for that. having me. It's, it's an honor. Yeah, you're welcome so much. So much welcome. Anyway, um, anything else you want to share before we end the call? Or um, you want to get the message out about? or I just, you know, if anybody wants to reach out about the app, just let me know. It's, it's, um, a lot of people think it's up in the fifty thousand dollar range, and it is way not in the fifty thousand dollar. When people think app, they think, "Oh, I, you know, yeah. that is not something that it couldn't be in the budget, but it definitely can." Yeah. So please, yeah. please reach out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I will. I'll tell everybody about your app for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you very much for joining me, um, Wendy, today, and uh, I'm sure that we'll get lots of calls for you. So thank you for joining us uh, today. And uh, if you have any questions for Wendy, you can reach out her um, on her social media and she'll also be posted on podcast.hardatworkonline. And so the video will be there and the audio will be on Anchor. So lots of ways you can pay attention to her <laughs> or reach out to her. <laughs> okay, thank you, Wendy. And we'll all have a great day. And my last words is always be kind. Okay, bye. Bye.